it's it's really exciting. This um, a few years ago, actually in 2012. Um, Japanese group, Professor Yamanaka, got a Nobel Prize for a discovery um, which allowed us to reprogram skin cells into stem cells. And uh, why is it so amazing and why he got a Nobel Prize for that? It's like from the stem cells, you can now generate any kind of tissue you want. So think about it for a second, you know, like brain disorders, you know, are devastating. They affects so many people and it's the toll is taking on society is just increasing every year with Alzheimer's impact. We all know that. The, the difficulty is that how do you find treatment for these disorders? You know, it's not easy to go in the brain of the patients and, and study the cells you know, directly. Most of the time well, with what's happening is like you wait until the patient uh, dies you know, and then you look at the, the postmodern brain tissue but by that stage there's so much damage already that it's really hard to, to understand what's going on with the disease. So with this discovery of Professor Mayana Yamanaka allowing us to uh, get skin cells from the patient from a just simple biopsy, convert them into stem cells, and from there what we built on that technology to then reprogram the cell not in skin cells anymore but into neurons. So now you can have live human neurons from the patients and you can also do that from healthy subjects because it's just a small biopsy as I say leaving almost no scar. And, and then the idea is pretty simple, then you compare uh, uh, the brain cells from the patient with the brain cells from the healthy subjects. This is all done in a lab in vitro. This is live human neurons. And once you find differences, now we can go and screen drugs to reverse those differences and see if we can uh, uh, use these drugs eventually to, for clinical trial. And that's very important because um, if we don't have better ways to find treatments you know, that, uh, that works really in a realistic model like uh, of human neurons, not just animal models are great for many, way, many things, but they don't, you know, the, the mouses don't get Parkinson, they don't get Alzheimer. And for decades we've been studying this disease with mouse models, that's all we had. Now we really have human neurons, live human neurons, where we are coming from the patients, where we can really screen drugs and find, you know, uh, potential targets that uh, uh, we hope will be much more successful in, in future clinical trials. So the, what we're doing in the lab is what we can say, what we can, you know, call maybe preclinical uh, uh, neuroscience. You know, this is before we actually test the drugs on the patients. We, we're using the cells of the patient to find some molecular targets, screen them. And something that's quite amazing about this work too is, um, and, and it's maybe a bit er too early, but down the line we're thinking about using that for personalized medicine. W the brain is very complicated, and, and so one uh, drug that will work for one Parkinson patient, for example, might not necessarily be efficient in another patient. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, as a patient myself, I don't want to take a drug, but I'm not 100% sure that it's going to have an effect on me, okay? So if we um, think about it, and again, it's probably too early to, to really apply that, but, but down the line, what we hope to, uh, to have is maybe getting the cells from, from a patient, testing the drug that we discover, and see if it works on these neurons in, in the lab before giving that drug to the patient. If it does, then we save time, we save you know, like uh, um, the, the, the cost of, you know, like having someone taking drugs that have no effect on it or even worse, having, you know, like second effects, you know, that we don't want.